What's up income heroes and welcome back to another awesome video about blogging. Today's video we're going to be looking at a tool called Journalist AI. The creator of this tool reached out to me and basically told me that their tool is one of the best AIs out there and how I should definitely check it out because it's better than some of the other tools that I use currently. So I've had a look at this tool a little bit already and I want to just go over what it does and then actually have a test out of some of the features that it's actually got. And any of the features you might like, you can feel free to use my affiliate link in the description. I also have an affiliate code. So as long as you click the link and you use the code, you'll get a nice discount just like that. So let's dive in. Auto blog, automatic blogging. This is obviously, you know, it says on the tin, if you want to do blogging, but you don't actually have the time to actually just write every single article and you just need to create some base content that you might go back over it later and you know, do some maybe some human editing and change it up to, to be a bit more unique to suit your style, then this could be a really, really good feature. You get yourself three free articles. They currently have 25,000 business owners using this service, which is pretty crazy when you think about that. Pricing seems to be about right, to be honest. Uh, you got the solo a month, which is a 100 credits, $39. You got the business, $79 a month with 200 credits and the agency, 500 credits. Now, if you use code Theo, which is in the description, along with clicking the link, you will get 10% off, which is pretty gosh darn awesome if you ask me. So this actually allows you to generate automatic blogging, do internal and, and external linking, which is a really useful feature. Does Google auto indexing, connects to the web, all integrations covered such, such as Shopify, WordPress, etc. 150 supported languages. Wow, that's a lot of languages. Feature in, featured and in article images. That saves loads of time. You can get YouTube videos in it and auto keyword research. That's really useful. Auto keyword research is very good. I wonder how that's generated. Up to 500 words a month. That's really good. This is up to 1 million words a month. And just worth noting that the credits do not roll over, which is not something I'm, I am I like personally. I think uh, when you are paying for credits, these should roll over in my opinion. But uh, you know, it is what it is. That's just an opinion. And everyone's got one of those. So how do the credits work? One article cost a minimum of one credit. Advanced features like AI images might cost additional credits in all cases. So this is very similar to Agility Writer in the, the way that it works. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually just set up an article and see, you know, let's read what the article is actually like once it's you know, wrote the article. So this is an SEO article or AI news. Oh, cool. Cool. That's awesome. So we're going for SEO article right there. Uh, we are going to have show advanced options because I think it's just, just a smart decision to do. And in titles, oh, we can go for keyword or we can go for title straight off the top. I quite like this. I think I'd like to make my own titles because the posts, yeah, I think I'd like to make my own titles for this. I think for this one, I'm going to use my own keywords and then let it generate the title itself. And we got four credits here. So let's go ahead and generate four article titles. For this one in particular, we're going to be using the website penbeast.com. Brilliant. This is a website just about pens that we often use AI to, to write these various articles about. Let's go beginner calligraphy tips. The history of calligraphy. Do you need a special? Pen for calligraphy. Practice sheets. There you go. Let's see what it actually produces from this. Uh, this one's kind of a, a difficult one. Actually, let's not put practice sheets. Let's put practice and let's just see what it creates from that. I think that's probably a good shout. Then we can have a look at the content uh, English, United States, a neutral point of view. I often like this to be, um, to be second. You, yours, I prefer that. Just works for my particular articles. Short, punchy phrases, automatic, formality is automatic. Include keywords, one per line. Okay, okay. You can you can change that if you want to. We're not going to. Knowledge, 
no specific knowledge base and it's got all these various different places you can actually get your knowledge from we're going to select no specific knowledge formatting we can go italics if we want to which is cool uh, we can go internal linking find sitemap grab the pen beast find excellent we've got a sitemap for that so we've got now internal linking built into this article external links automatic i don't want external links i only want internal if i don't know where i'm i'm linking to i'm not really interested in linking to anywhere you can't really be just putting your name to any old website what if it's a website that's filled with crap i don't want that i prefer to know exactly where i'm linking at all times so i'm going to turn that bit off okay let's have a look at images now featured image stable core high quality image okay this is interesting they use di various different places to get their images let's try this one as for image size this is very interesting i'm probably gonna try this here about probably yeah 16 by 9 and we can actually choose the various different styles we'll go for photographic number of images oh oh no images in ah oh, they charge us extra credits per image oh no so it's one there and then there's one credit for two images three credit uh, three images is two credits four images is two credits cool interesting all right all right so if you want to get the extra images you would need to be willing to to give credits for that okay now images is done let's check the videos uh automate youtube videos i actually do not like to do this i don't think it's a good idea i think it's sometimes it can come across a bit lazy uh with articles so i actually prefer not to have youtube videos if i want to add a youtube video i will do that individually uh, but it can be a really really good option if you're planning just to automate your entire blog um, with ai so let's disable that in this particular instance we're going to have four articles and let's generate the article okie dokie so let's have a little look at this article do you need a special pen for calligraphy exploring the essentials oh i like that title calligraphy is an art that combines yep the visual appeal with written words yeah this is really nice i like this okay oh excellent and it's even internal linking to my other articles as well oh i really like this this is really high this looks nice oh i really really like this oh that's so good it's even it's even formatted the uh, faqs really quickly and the article isn't too long as well Sometimes what I've noticed with AIs is they often create unnecessarily long articles, which isn't really needed, which is can be frustrating actually from what I've experienced. So yeah, do you like this article? Yes. And what we can do here is actually go to penpiece.com and automatically post the inter uh, through the integration, which is super easy. If you don't know how to do that. There is a guide on journalist AI that will actually show you how to do that which is pretty useful a post integration takes about probably 30 seconds to set it all up the integration so it's definitely worth doing rather than having to copy it across and things like that so as you can see now it's actually already put this on the website just like that and has it published it i do believe it has let's just check the uh, the front page it has and i'm just looking at the image that is a very clear ai image which is a bit of a shame really I was really excited about this, uh, but this is a typical thing. Uh, it's not just journalist AI. It's all AIs that I use. They always struggle with pens being held by fingers. And uh, yes, it, it is a bit of a shame, but I, I didn't really expect anything different because every single AI I use, um, it's uh, it has the same problems. That's why a lot of my articles on the web page does not use any fingers uh, because we have this issue. Okay, so we got some new AI images that we've got from Midjourney. That seems to do the trick very well. So what we'll do is actually just go to this article and we will quickly edit this article and change the featured image. Just something you should always check with any type of auto blogging tool is the images as sometimes they can just produce um, a little bit too AI looking images and you're better off just being safe than sorry. Okay, so we can go ahead and save that and just double check the website now. Okay, that's brilliant. That makes it look very clear, very simple. Yes, 
works really, really well. Now let's look at some of the other articles that it produced. Next, perfecting your craft, calligraphy in practice. Okay, and this, oh, I was going to say it looks good, but the thumb does look a little bit weird on holding this pen. Uh, but apart from that, the article does look really good. It's short. It gets to the point. Let's post to integration. And I like that you, you need to individually press it because I think the the good thing here is you can read it before you actually post it. And that's very, very useful indeed. And if you didn't want to do that, you could just click up this and publish all of it to the integration right there and then. Or you could set a certain amount of time that you wanted to wait between each article and that type of thing. Mastering the art, calligraphy, beginner tips for success. Brilliant. How's the AI looking on that? Looks all right. That one actually looks okay. That one actually looks great as well. So that's all four done. Two were good and two were bad for the uh, AI images. The writing so far looks really, really good, but we're going to have a read through it as, uh, as we get there. So let's just have a quick look on our website. Okay, so we do need to redo this one here, perfecting your craft, calligraphy, practice techniques. Let's just edit the post and then grab one of the images from Mid Journey. Okay, I like this. Let's go for the top right one, this one. We'll save that image. Then we will just very simply go ahead, and whack it in there, replace that image, save. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Hit the hero. So here are the four images then. Okay, so let's have a quick look. This is the four posts that have been done. We're going to open each one individually and have a quick read through to see how they've done just in terms of the AI. Tracing the past, the history of calligraphy. Oh, 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 oh I like that. Calligraphy has ancient or origins with significant developments in China, the Middle East and Europe. True. Really, really good stuff. The Han Dynasty, wow, it's gone all the way back. Love, love, love to see it. It's clearly scraped this information. Role of Buddhism, yeah, excellent, excellent. So this one's a bit more in depth because clearly it's gone and actually researched all the various things about calligraphy. And I quite like how this is, it kind of go, it indents the, the writing uh, for when it's just expanding on one of these topics that they've mentioned. That's a really, really good thing. Frequently asked questions. And it gives nice short answers as well. That's really good because that will help basically set it up on Google to make it quick answerable. That's stuff people are going to ask. I really, really like that. That looks good. Definitely worth it. Okay. Mastering the art, beginner calligraphy tips for success. Paper types and their importance. Paper type, smooth paper, texture paper, recycled paper. Yes, characteristics. I quite like that. Although I'm surprised that the AI hasn't used a, a table here for this uh, it looks good but i i am surprised there's no table that's been used here uh, i would have thought there'd be a table the writing itself seems really really good high quality writing i'm liking it and again i really like the way it does these uh, frequently asked questions okay the next article is perfecting your craft calligraphy practice techniques okay this is all looking really really good so far there's nothing in these articles that i'm disliking it, it it's really really good and uh, Pretty much the exact same as as in terms of quality, I'd say it is as good or maybe better than uh, some of the other AIs that I've been using, which is actually really, really good. I would say it's rated for me about the same level as Agility Writer, but higher quality than Koala Writer from from just what I'm experiencing here. Uh, this is beating Koala Writer, um, but it's about the same level as Agility Writer. What I'm noticing, though, is it's better than Agility Writer's basic version of this article, but about the same level as the advanced version of their articles, which which uses ChatGPT4. So this on a whole is definitely gives you a really nice high quality article from the get go with one credit. So that's actually probably really good from a money perspective of how much you want to spend on your AIs. OK, so past that, we've got four articles created, which is fantastic as you can see we've got no more credits left uh, but the blog automation you can actually create a new automatic blogging and you can say the amount of articles that you want to do each day so you want two articles every day and you can say uh, you can say, randomize the time you can select what you want the preset to be and you can automatically use the integration as well which is pretty useful you can even get it to automatic index. 
You can get your social media management done from this. It just seems like this is the type of tool that you would want if you want to just run your entire blog from one AI without much work. This is the type of tool. Auto blogging is going to save you so much work. Say you have a business where you're selling like pens, for example, right? And your whole business is just focused on selling pens, but you need to get more traffic to your pen website. You could use something like the auto blog feature to basically cover as much areas as possible and then also use the social media feature to basically share these with as many people as possible when people go to read these articles they're going to come to this website oh there's a there's a a guide about best ink for fountain pens oh this is called pen beast what do they do they sell pens i might buy one <laughs> you know so this is going to massively help you if you've got a website which sells anything in particular and basically get you a lot more clicks on your website to hopefully sell pens or sell whatever it is uh, you are selling on your website. And it's 2024 right now. If you're just in the blog game for, you know, adverts alone, you probably uh, you probably want to try and expand to have a product or things that you sell on your website, not just having, um, you know, ad income coming in. You should have a different ways of, of making income. You know, it's time to d diversify 2024, baby. Google hit us all. <laughs> well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Let me know if you like Journalist AI, what your thoughts are. And if I should do another test video of Journalist AI, use my code Theo and the link in the description to get yourself a 10% discount. Check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. This is Theo Ramwell, and I'll see you in the next video.